Hello YouTube, uh, it's been a long time, I know, I apologize. Uh, the band that I play guitar in, we get really, really busy uh, mid to late summer. Um, so we pretty much had a show every weekend and uh, we're putting out another album, so have been taking up a lot of time with that. So haven't had a whole lot of time to work on the truck, but I've gotten some things uh, taken care of here and there, mostly with the AC, still messing with the AC. Can't seem to figure out why I'm having so many issues, uh, but we're slowly working through them. Decided to go ahead and just install a new uh, expansion valve, a uh, new condenser, and then go ahead and flush the evaporator and all the lines and stuff just to make sure everything's clear and working the way it's supposed to, as well as a new compressor. So with that said, let's get to work. I'm going to try to drop the compressor out of the bottom, but in order to do that, I'm probably going to have to remove this sway bar and these coolant, cooler lines, oil cooler lines, that might give me enough room to get it out from the bottom. Good news is I can still get the belt out and still get a new one on, even with the radiator pushed back. I did have to drop the sway bar and we're getting more room, slowly but surely. I'm gonna drop these oil cooler lines here. That was a knuckle buster. I saved this bolt that's easiest to get to for last. Just because as the compressor wants to fall, it's a lot easier doing it with that bolt than one of the harder to get to ones. And there we go. So now the fun part will be fishing it out of here. what it comes. What I'm looking for is flakes of metal in the compressor oil and if that is present I'll have to replace the dryer, the condenser, possibly more, but let's see. So sadly as it turns out I did have metal shavings in the compressor oil. So that means I'm going to have to do a flush on the AC system. I uh, won't be obviously flushing the compressor or the dryer, uh, but the rest of the system will get flushed uh, with this AC flush solvent. This stuff is pretty dangerous. I wore my respirator when pouring it in. This tool is for specifically for flushing AC systems. And you can get it through the Rena Tool program or Loaner Tool program. At, your local auto parts store, which is what I did. And then it just hooks up to uh, pressurized air. Then you just spray this through and it adds the solvent on its own through the lines and everything. So that's what we're gonna do. If we didn't flush the system with those metal shavings in there, we'd just be doing this job all over again, buying another compressor, and installing a, a whole new compressor and everything, and just don't wanna mess with that. So installation is pretty much just going to be a reversal of taking it out, only I'm going to leave these caps on. I don't want any oil coming out when I go to try to shimmy it up into the spot. The AC issue saga continues. So I decided I was not going to mess with charging the system. I'm going to take it to a specialty AC shop that works with vintage air systems. I did install the new compressor and just hooked everything up, put a vacuum on it, took it over to them. They hooked it up, called me about 45 minutes to an hour later, and said that something blew. Um, they're thinking possibly the pressure relief switch on the compressor blew. They said that the pressure on the high side jumped up to 500 PSI and nothing on the low side. So, sounds like there is an obstruction somewhere. So, got some parts here, new condenser, and a new expansion valve. 
Gonna put those in. Gonna pull the compressor back off. Check the oil, make sure it didn't blow any oil out of the compressor. <sighs> One of these days I'll have AC. Sadly, the truck is back apart. I am currently replacing, I figure why I'm here, I might as well replace the uh, condenser and the expansion valve because of that original compressor failure. Uh, I didn't know what got where and I don't want to chance it by getting, you know, some foreign objects stuck in the uh, old expansion valve or the condenser. So replacing all that so at least I know everything is new for that extra peace of mind. And just to have a, a you know, a more efficient AC system. All right, so pulled the evaporator out and flushed it, also replaced the expansion valve that's behind it, flushed all the hoses, replaced the condenser, and replaced the compressor. So hopefully now we won't have any issues charging the AC. I put 30 pounds of vacuum on it and let it set overnight and it's still holding vacuum, so we've got no leaks. So that's good. All right, we got the gauges where they need to be. We've got a couple cans of the uh, Dupont Suva in the system. Best of all, we've got cold air. Success! Did get a little package from Summit Racing. Uh, and these are a set. Of electronic cutouts so the plan here is I wanted uh, a nice quiet exhaust system for going down the interstate uh, that drone just drives me nuts uh, I can't stand that sound so I wanted a nice you know responsible exhaust for going down the interstate and maybe around town but then at a flip of a switch I can have basically open headers I think I'm gonna keep the first set of cats on these on either bank there's a uh, one cat and then another cat. I think I'm going to eliminate the second cat uh, just so I can have a little bit of back pressure uh, on the uh, open side. This kit comes with the uh, comes with the Y, comes with the turn down for the uh, other side of the cutout, all stainless steel. Comes with all the electronics needed, the mounting hardware. So I got a pair of these that'll be wired to one switch hidden under the dash. So I can be responsible when driving down the interstate and whatnot. And then I can open these up and be loud when I'm screwing around with burnouts and things like that. So I did take the truck on a little bit of a shakedown, just kind of, you know, trying to see, uh, work out the bugs and stuff before I do a full video on it being on the road. Uh, took it to the local barbecue place that my wife and I like and came out to a note under my windshield wiper and it says that this guy, I won't release his name or phone number or whatever, but uh, it says that this guy has a tailgate that goes to this truck and he listed a phone number. Um, it wasn't the guy that wrote the note. I still don't know who wrote the note and neither does the guy that has the tailgate. I called the guy. Uh, sure enough, he has a tailgate, um, had a tailgate because I ran up there as soon as I got off the phone and bought it off of him. Being the Midwest, a uh, relatively rust-free unibody tailgate is tough to find. Went up there and grabbed it. So let's check it out. Now obviously it's the wrong color, but it is a relatively straight, rust-free unibody tailgate with the latches and the original uh, that kind of reddish-orange color that I love so much. So that's going to work great. I don't think I'm going to paint it. That's the original paint. I think it would be kind of cool. Uh, you know, this, I love this reddish orange color on these F100s. And I uh, figure maybe I'll just throw it on there like that. If I don't like it, I'll paint it later. Well, I got to tell you, it feels good to finally have the AC functioning as AC should. Uh, just in time for fall, too. I know this video wasn't exactly an exciting one. That's kind of the way these projects go. You get towards the end and you're just tying up loose ends. And it doesn't make for a very exciting video. But nonetheless, I figured you'd want to see what I've been up to and what's been going on. Basically, AC and little things like that. The next video, I think we need to take it out and maybe do a couple burnouts, uh, just some driving video, why not? I think you guys have waited too long. I think it's about time we get it on the road and get some driving shots.
And with that said, I know the project looks like it's coming to an end. The videos are not going to come to an end. We're going to do videos with the truck, road trips, car shows, stuff like that. I've also got a few little projects in mind. It's just if it's going to work out or not. I don't want to, you know, divulge too much information on um, what I'm trying to nail down. But things are in the works. So stay tuned and I appreciate it. And as always, I'll see you next time.